All right, we're going to do four real quick videos. I'm not going to make these videos very short because I want to do all these this morning so Gerald can render them. Um, so we're going to do very, very quick setups. Gerald, uh, th these are four. Can you do four quick ones on the setups? Well, anyway, let's go ahead and do this one first. This is a slingshot trade and see how fast you can render this. All right, so yesterday on the slingshot trades, I want to do four separate videos on our four top setups. The four, uh, the One of our top setups is a slingshot trade. We're looking for one right now. We had one this morning that just happened right before news. Let's go over this one. It happened all day yesterday. This is our 120 chart. So we have four setups that we have in the trade room. One of them is a slingshot trade. This is a 120-20 Unirinko on the S&P. So at 7.58 pre-non-farm payroll news, we had this arrow that automatically fired in the room. Why did it fire? We have our zone trends here. Our, trend, our zone trends have been tested for over the last 30 years. We know these zones are, are, uh, have been tested and they should repel price. So if we know these zones are accurate, as you can tell yesterday, we had nothing but buy setups all day yesterday for the entire session. We had no sell setup on this chart at all. They were all slingshots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight trades in a row that were slingshots since midnight on the session yesterday. And now we come into non-farm payrolls today. So what is the slingshot and how did this arrow fire here? And how did this arrow fire here 12 seconds after the news report? And why are we looking for another trade possible here on a setup? What you want to see on the slingshot is this. A slingshot is with trend. It is with zone trend. If zone trend is green, meaning we this zone, right? These are zone dots. If zone trend is green, we're looking to buy slingshots. If zone trend is red, we're looking to sell slingshots. Well, there's two criteria that you yet yeah, you need for slingshots. You got to stick with zone trend. So these arrows won't fire. You will not get an alarm on your speakers which these alarms will sound. So alarm sounded on my on your speakers at 8.30, 12, that you had a slingshot here if you had a slingshot parameter check. So under the indicator, if you had this slingshot parameter checked right here, and these are unchecked, if you had those unchecked, it will only fire the arrow when a slingshot qualifies. Okay, I got these others in here right now. All right, so that being said, the slingshot will fire with his audible alert when these arrows fire automatically for you. So this morning at 758.11, this arrow fired automatically on the S&P at the high of the bar at 43.33 and a quarter, and it just fired right here at the high of this bar, which is 40, 43.43.50, and we're as high as right now 57 and a half. Had a nice move uh, already in the first 20 minutes of trading after the NQ on the slingshot. But why does the slingshot come up? A slingshot comes up because you're with zone trend, trend is up. The key, we have two oscillators below, which I call signal lines. I have a thin signal line, which I call the small signal line, and I have a large signal line, which is this thicker line called the large signal line. So I got my small signal line, which is thin, my large signal line, which is thicker. For buys, it has to be green zone. My large signal line has to get below 20. It has to do that. I'm small signal line. Sorry, the small one. The small signal line has to get below 20. Okay? Once it gets below 20, I need it to get back below my entry level. The entry level I have set, I have a bull and bear reading on my, on my indicator and strategy. My bear reading is at 65. My bull reading is at 40. I have it set to go back up through 65 before that arrow will fire. If you notice, right when it went through 65, my slingshot fired. I got an audible alert on the speakers to go long the slingshot at that level. So the buy signal, it had to get below 20, back up through 65. This next slingshot, we have zones are green. This is right after news, non-farm payroll release. We had a red retracement. Okay, news comes out at 8.30. My small oscillator, 
which is my signal line, gets below 20, which it must. I have it set to get back above bear 65 for the push up. It got above a bear 65. Right there, the arrow fired automatically. You get an alarm system on your computer. That's your long. It's a beautiful long. The long right there was, like I said, plus or minus a couple of ticks in that live long. Where's that arrow at? The high of that bar was 43.5, 43.75. Look how much it's pushing. Some was 43.60. So just a beautiful long in this last slingshot right after news. All right, so that's a slingshot. Now on the strategy and the indicator, you can dictate you can dictate where you want this entry to happen. You don't have to let it go back above bear 65. You can have it go below 20. And you can put it in to come back above bull. And the arrow will fire two bars earlier right here if you want to get a little bit earlier entry. I just like going above the bear for buys and below the bull for sells so it doesn't give me a failure trade. Because our failure trades require that, which I'll go over a video on the failure trade. I like it to go back above 65 at least or above 80. So then I don't run myself running into a failure trade. I like confirmation. So if I look at today, we've had two qualified slingshots that worked out so well. It's two for two this morning. It, that one, um, it caught, and this one, it caught on the 20. If I go to yesterday and I look at the entire session uh, since midnight, we had a slingshot that happened right here at 416. Os oscillator got below 20 back through my bear 65 arrow fire. If you look at the entire session, we had one that happened here at 951. We had one fired here. Small oscillator got below 20, back through my bear 65. Audible alert happened on your speakers or my speakers. That would happen. Arrow fired, market explodes. If you look here, we had another slingshot that happened at 1117. Market moved. Another one, market exploded off of this one, got below 20, back through my bear 65, market exploded up to the upside. Another one, had another one here, 230, uh, what, 230, 244, and then 1630. So yesterday, like I said, we had several of them in a row. It was a slingshot day. We never had one sell signal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row. Eight for the close at last night's trading. Today we had one, two in a row. This one is just really moving hard. If you look at the day before, before I shut this off, let's take a look. It's sort of mixed up between failures and slingshots. Um, this day we've had right there, November 1st, we had a slingshot here, first wave slingshot. Slingshot, Momo, into first wave slingshot here, arrow fired, slingshot, we had a failure, into another slingshot. So you see the consistency of the slingshot. Failure into first wave Momo, slingshot, another slingshot. So you can see slingshots come up quite a bit. Slingshot, first wave Momo, failure, slingshot, failure trade took this one off. I'll do a separate video on that. All right, but that's how we trade our slingshots. We trade them with trend zone. That's one of our four trade up trade setups that we trade in the room. Gerald, shut that off. All right, so that's uh, the slingshot trade. Let's go over the failure trade. I'll just combine this on one video for you so you understand every single one. Gerald, let me know if you're ready to go. All right, so here's the second trade setup we have. So I, lo I love these two setups called the failure and the slingshot. So we know what the slingshot is. You can review that portion of the video that we just recorded. The failure trade is against trend. So this is against uh, zone trend. So you can see the slingshots are with zone trend, right? And I show you how to do that, review that uh, portion of the video if you want to know how to do it. A failure requires this. A failure is against zone trend. So what happens to these zones when they fail? Well, a failed slingshot that does not qualify. So what happens if this failure comes down, I mean this slingshot comes down, 
and it gets below 20, right? Looking for a buy, but it never gets above 65. You have a possible failure trade against zone trend. So these arrows will fire. So if you have the failure check mark on your strategy or your indicator or strategy, so let's say you just want the failures. You put that up if you want that by itself. I got all three showing right now. But the failure will fire if this happens. Buys, you need the large signal line, right? It has to get above 65. This is, this is hard trading rules that we have in the room, fixed trading rules. It has to get above 65, but then my small oscillator has to stay above bull of 40. If that happens and I'm against zone trend, a green arrow will fire on the failure trade, which it did this morning. I mean, this did right here. It's a big trade on the S&P. Market exploded. So if you look, that's a failure trade. This one didn't have as much movement, but it's still qualified. You had the failure trade where you got the large oscillator got above 65. The small oscillator stayed above 40. Arrow fired there. So this is called a failure trade against trend. Failure trades will be against overall zone trend because slingshots that I just went over are with overall trend, right? Because a small oscillator got below 20 and got back below above my minimum bear 65. Well, what happens is if the, the small, you're looking for another slingshot here into the zone. But watch my small oscillator. It has to get below 20, which it did, but it never got back above my threshold of 65 bear. So what happens? You get a failure trade arrow that fired. Why? Because my large oscillator got below 40 now for cells. That's a requirement. Got below 40. And my small oscillator never got back above 65. So if you had that toggled in, you'll see these come up automatically with on your speakers, the failure trade, and you get a big failure trade to the downside. All right, so that is your failure trades. All right, your failure trades are against zone trend. Now, this is what's called a failure trap. Now, this is a trade that I'd love to see. I went over this yesterday. You see this a lot in the NQ. So we got the, we got the, the slingshot trades I just went over. I got the failure trades. This is called a failure trap. What if you don't want to trade the failure trades? And you're like, nah, I don't want to trade failure trades. I just want to trade slingshots and slingshots that are a failure trap. What a failure trap is, is when you're catching the rolling position traders with their buy stops and sell stops when there's a liquidity grab. Now what this requires is, and you see a lot on the NQ, what happens a lot on the NQ, is you'll see a failure trade that comes in and the arrow will fire automatically for you right here, right? And it starts moving down. But what happens is it doesn't break outside of the zone. And what it doesn't break outside the zone on the failure trade. And then all of a sudden it rolls to a slingshot buy, a slingshot arrow buy. You'll see this today on the NQ quite a bit. You'll see it weekly on the NQ. I'm actually adding this to the strategy as a toggle switch called the trap. Okay, it's a liquidity grab. I may even call it liquidity grab. Because what they're doing is, is they're, 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 they're taking it, they're setting a lower low to grab liquidity, and then they're breaking out the high to take out the stops, and that's when you see an acceleration in price. So what you could do if you just wanted to let the failure, failure trade fire without even taking a failure, because failure, you can take the failure trades if you want or you don't have to, if you, let's say, you just want to trade the trap trade by itself, I'd wait till a failure trade comes up, make sure price doesn't get below my bottom in my zone, and I need a slingshot to qualify and fire, which it did. That arrow fired because we got below 20 and back through my bear is 65. That's called a failure trap. The easy way to remember, remember that is you'll see a failure arrow right into a slingshot by. The reason it works, this is what's called a liquidity grab. They grab liquidity by taking that low out, and they take out the buy stops by taking this high out right there. And you see price just accelerate on these. All right, that's called a trap, or I call liquidity grab. 
This is a liquidity grab. Or they're trapping the sellers. Love this trade setup. I'll show you in the NQ after I get this video done. So we have, now we know how to trade these setups. We now trade the slingshot with trend. We know how to trade the failure trade. We know how to trade the trap, liquidity grab, trap, all right? Then this is called the first wave, all right? So if you wanted the first wave trade, you go in here on the first wave and you click first wave. If you, if you only want to show the first wave, uncheck these. So you can select which is your favorite setup and have it come on your speakers. But I got them all three showing. A first wave is simply this. A first wave <clears throat> is simply when you break, when you go zone red, green to red, <clears throat> and, you're, and you have a trend change, and then what you're doing is you're looking for the first wave up, right? That's called a first wave. Well, I've got a, what's called a first wave slingshot. It'll wait for the first wave up if you toggle switch it on, and it has to be a slingshot too. It's got to be the first wave up with a slingshot, so the first wave would actually come in here. That's a first wave slingshot, and this is the first wave Momo. The difference in a first wave Momo, which is another setup we have, or a first wave slingshot is the oscillator. If you look at the slingshot, it went above 80 and got back below my bear for a slingshot first wave Momo. Of our slingshot, first wave slingshot, a first wave Momo is simply red to green. That arrow will fire automatically on a Momo if both oscillators are pegged below 65. So those are all four of the setups. If, if I were new to this trading room, I would look for these setups right here. I would look for the easy ones, the slingshot trades. The slingshot trades are the simplest trade to find because it's with trend, and I'm using that small oscillator to qualify the trade. The second trade I would look at, since you understand that, is a failed slingshot is a failure trade. That's an easy trade to understand because it's a failed slingshot rolls into a failure trade. The key point on that is watch your large oscillator. Remember, this is all pre-built into the code on your indicator, so it does it for you automatically. It'll fire the arrow. But what's neat is, by watching price action on these, is you can even have another spin on it and trade the failure slingshot liquidity grab trap. I love these trades. This is where, let's say you don't want to trade the failure because it's counter trend trade against the zone, but you love the slingshots. Well, just add that into your arsenal. Because if you're only going to take slingshots then, add the slingshot liquidity grab trap. Because what that does, a failure comes up and you get an arrow that fires immediately if this lower zone does not break. The reason I came up with this proprietary setup I came up with, what I noticed is this. I noticed that the failures that really, really work on big trends, what do they break? They break the lower zone, right? They break the lower zone, you get cranked down to the downside. The failures that tend to, to go down just a little bit they'll roll right back into slingshot, I notice it's a liquidity grab. What they're doing is they're trying to break this low, right, take the, sell, the stops out, <clears throat> and then get ready to jam it up after they break through this high of catching those sellers, right, which is buy stops will happen. I'm noticing when I see this combination of failure to slingshot liquidity grab is you get a, a nice movement in price. Watch it in queue. It does that a lot today. All right, those are our four setups, guys. You can review this video.